So let's say we are on this first link and you click on the right, um, this third link over here. So we actually going to slide the carousel to the left because you want to go to the right. So in, in another instance, let's say we're on the fourth link and you click on second link. So since we want to go to the left, we will have to slide the carousel to the right. So we'll just have to do some little basic math there. So we say index of active, if index of acti active link is less than index of click link. And seems like we gain. Okay, let's just say index of click link. Clicked link. Okay, so if index of active link is less than index of click link, that means we have to move to the right. So we have to slide the carousel to the left and number of slides, basically, that is this, um, how many times we have to slide to the left, sorry, how many times we have to slide the carousel to the left, yes. The way we calculate that is we're going to say index of click link minus index of active link, okay? All right, so let's do that quickly, index of click link minus index of active link. All right, so now that we've got how many times we have to slide, to um, the left, we actually have to call the parent dot slide left function, and then pass it how many times we want it to slide to the left. So we say slide left, and maybe some of you might be realizing now that we're passing number of slides to this function here. But this function actually doesn't accept any parameters right now. But let's call it, and then we'll actually go and modify that function slide left so that it accepts um, not just nothing it just accepts uh, one parameter so that it will know that it has to slide to um, this many times not just once right so we'll do an else here as well so we say um, now instead of sliding to sliding the carousel left we check if this condition fails it means you have to slide it to the right so we'll do the same calculation we say number of slides equal to index of active link minus index of click link and if you re realize in this case index of click link will be more than index of active link so here index of active link will be more than index of click link okay now that we've got the number of slides we have to do we call parent dot slide right and then we pass it number of slides okay so this function also slide right does not accept any parameter so we'll go and modify that quickly and um add that there so basically just one thing actually before we modify these two functions to accept parameters now that we've um, created this new link here and we've attached an event handler to it so before we actually do anything let's go and actually attach that to the ul element that is scroll buttons container so we've created the link but we haven't actually attached it to its container so let's go ahead and do that right now so just um, after attaching the event handler to the link here, let's go ahead and say parent dot scroll buttons container dot append. Right now we're just appending new link. That's it. Okay, so now we've appended it to its container. So let's go ahead now and actually modify slide left and slide right so that they accept um, parameters. So before we actually do that, let's just go ahead in our browser and um, check that these links actually are attached to the DOM. So remember right now that they are not going to do anything when we click on them. We actually are not going to click because they will have an error. Um, but we'll just want to make sure that they have been attached to um, the this document here. So we'll just refresh. And if you see, we have links one, two, three, four. But just one thing that you might realize that the first link actually does not have any um, styling attached to it. Like we want by default, the first link to be the link that has the um, white color um, attribute. So basically what that means is we want the first link to be the active link when we just load our carousel. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back in our um, code and actually move up to the init function. So just after we've created our slide link, we're actually going to target the first li um, element inside of scroll buttons container and actually add a class of active link to it. So we'll say parent dot um, scroll buttons container dot find um, li 
so we found all the list of allies so we'll say first dot add class and the class you want to add is active link okay and we don't need the dot there because jQuery will do that for us automatically and yeah that's it so we'll go back in our browser and then we'll refresh and if you notice the first element by default is the selection